Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley Elias. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really fun video. We're kind of in a rush. If I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. I'm going to try not to because it's so annoying whenever I'm editing and I do that. But um, we are in Valdosta, Georgia because today Oral and I are going on a college tour at Valdosta, which is a school in Valdosta, Georgia. It's basically the only thing here. It's really fun. This is my second college tour, but my first time going on a college tour with Orla slash just like a friend. And um, I uploaded my UGA college tour. I didn't really film that much of the tour, but this time I'm going to try to film more of like the actual tour because I feel like I would enjoy watching a video like that. So hopefully you guys gain something from this. And maybe if Valdosta is a college you're considering, you can pick up some info from this video and yeah let's I didn't like I filmed a couple clips from this morning at breakfast so I'm gonna put those in oh my goodness mom and then let's get this video started so the lighting is probably bad but I want to do a quick little outfit of the day first I'm just wearing this sweater that is from Forever 21 is Logan's. It has a hood that you can't see. I'm wearing my belt that is thrifted. I'm wearing these jeans that are from Abercrombie & Fitch, my mom jeans, my Nike or Air Force Ones, and then just like my normal everyday jewelry. Valdosta campus and it's raining and it's really gross and we thought it was only gonna rain for the morning but now it's supposed to rain till noon so hopefully we won't be outside for the first part of the tour been walking around I'm sitting down now because I am so tired we walked around for such an insanely long amount of time but I have a Starbucks so I'm feeling better and yeah I'd say I was really pleasantly surprised by how much I like the school so visiting Valdosta but just like I did in my UGA college visit video I wanted to come in at the end and just kind of talk about the school as a whole since I didn't film a ton of it. I'm going to have my uh, UGA college visit vlog linked down below what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a playlist with all of my visit vlogs I love the sound of that my visit vlogs um, I'm gonna create a playlist and then I'll just have that in the description box and I'll just add uh, like I'll have it linked and then I'll just add videos as I put them up because I have a couple of different colleges that I'm still checking out. But I wanted to talk about Valdosta and my experience there and everything that kind of like went into it. I actually spent the night in Valdosta but I didn't have time to go walk around the downtown like we did in Athens which I was kind of bummed out about. We drove through it because I did want to see it. It was pretty small however it was kind of cute. It was basically like a big like square street essentially was the downtown downtown and there was either like a building or just like grass in the center and then there was like streets on the outside. It was cute. Um, I'm sure there was some cute restaurants and stuff like I did some research before because I didn't know if we would have time to go out to eat or not. I will have those like in the description box as well like the name of those if you guys are curious. But we didn't get to go to any of those, which I was kind of bummed out about. But from what we like, I saw driving through, it looked pretty cute. It looked like you could, you know, walk around and have some fun in the little downtown. Now to talk about the actual campus and school. It was nowhere near as large as UGA. It's a pretty small campus with 
this many students. I put a set in the last one. I'll put it in this one too. And which I don't know, bittersweet. I kind of like the idea of going to a big school, but you, but Valdosta was pretty nice like with other things, so I'm considering. Um, and the, the buildings they kind of had my mom really loved, like atmosphere, had like a 70s like Spanish type of vibe. Valdosta is really, really close to Florida. It's like 20 minutes from the border with Florida, which I kind of like the idea of too. Apparently it's two hours to get to the beach, which I could totally see myself going to the beach, I don't know, on weekends or breaks or whatever. And it was a beautiful campus because I did like the vibes of the buildings. I think I might have preferred UGA a little bit better. However, it was still pretty. There was like Spanish moss and really like nice greenery and trees, which I liked. So the tour that I went on at Valdosta, it was like much larger. There was a massive group of people. Basically, they like put us in the auditorium at the beginning of the tour. And it was like pretty full. So that was crazy. They did a whole like beginning type of welcoming thing. I had some footage from that that you guys already saw and then we split off into groups depending upon what we wanted to major in and we went and listened to um, like one of the people who was the head of that major or whatever, not really sure how that works, talk about the major and then the, so I want to major in business, I want to get a degree in marketing and so I'm going to go more in depth of like that at the end of this video. So if you guys are like curious about Valdosta and the marketing, they actually have a really great business program that I think I'm going to include that closer to the end because not as many people are going to be interested in that. So I want to talk some the, about some of the other things, but stay tuned for that part of this video. That was really interesting and then after that we got split off into even smaller groups and we got a tour guide and we walked around the campus and just saw different things. We got to see the dorms which I really liked because at, um, at UGA I didn't get to see the dorms but we went in and we saw there's all sorts of different like categories of dorms but we got to see like co-ed or different, just different norms. I can't remember the names, but it was pretty cool. The first dorm that I like went into to see was adorable. Like these, it was this girls dorm or two girls because it was like there's two people in a room and they had it decorated so cutely and I was like, I think I'm just going to move in with these girls. Like let them know they got a room new roommate. Like I'm bringing my stuff. Like it's just happening now. So I loved that. Also, um, we got to see like basically the entire campus, our tour guide that we got. So Oral and I were not in the same group um, because we wanted to have, because we're going into different majors and so we like split up and we had different tour guides and our tour guide was so thorough almost to like a fault. We walked around for forever. We almost missed lunch because this man would not let us go eat. We were like dying of starvation. Um, I'm just kidding. Obviously, I'm being so dramatic, we were not dying of starvation, but we were extremely hungry by time it was time for us to eat, but we kind of got to see the cafeteria and sit in there. That's one of the, or not cafeteria, but one of the like dining halls that students actually ate at. And we basically explored the entire campus. This was also easier to do because, like I said, it's a pretty small campus. Overall, I really enjoyed the tour. It was uh, good, even though it was a really, really rainy day, which also made it kind of hard to film because I didn't want to get my camera wet. That's one, like, another one of the reasons like most of the footage is from my phone just because having my camera out I didn't want it to get rained on and my phone like it's slightly more rainproof than my camera but I think that's most of like the information as a whole now I want to talk a bit about their program their business program because Future Me is going to find that really helpful. Basically, I, they actually had a really, really awesome business program, and what they would do is, or one of the, they would, they had many classes and things that like went into it, but two of the things that really I found very interesting was they did a lot of like traveling abroad, but not just like going abroad to like do random stuff. I don't know what you normally do whenever you travel abroad in college. They would travel abroad to these little villages in like under developed countries, so like, or underdeveloped parts of countries, so they would go to Africa and they would help them start a business so they could send their children to school, which I thought was so cool. Oh my god, that light is sitting right next to my camera and I'm trying to look into the lens and it's blinding me. We're gonna move that a little bit. Sorry if I moved or the lighting changed, I just couldn't continue to look into the light because it was hurting my eyes and I feel them starting to tear up. But anyway, back to their business program. So they went to like underdeveloped countries or sections of countries and then they would help them start a business and so the business that they would most of the time start was like an egg selling business. So they would have a bunch of chickens, they would build a chicken coop and the whole point of the business like and getting business and jobs into that area would be so that they could send their children to school because obviously areas where there's a lot of poverty 
kids don't get to go to school and it's just kind of that makes it so that there's just like a continuing cycle of poverty because if you can't go to school then it's hard to like move up in the world they would build like chicken coops and then they would have chickens and they would have egg selling businesses which i thought was so interesting and even though um, whenever they first started talking about like having chicken businesses, I was like, oh no, we're about to talk about dying chickens, like, I don't know how I feel about that, I'm really not here for that. But then whenever they talked about like selling the eggs, I was very much on board, and I think that's really awesome because they're trying to create a positive impact, which is something that is so important to me. I want to be able to, with my marketing degree, um, help other people, I want to work in some type of field like that. Another thing they, that they did um, to make a positive impact on their community, actually, or a community that was really close to theirs, was the like the school of business has different organizations, and so one of the organizations bought a or bought a piece of land and then built a building on it, and this it was kind of like a we'll call it like a mini like after school program building. So basically, kids in like a poor neighborhood would go to this little building and they would get help with their schoolwork and they would be introduced to like music and arts and just all sorts of things. So instead of going home after school to just an empty house because their parents were so like, because their parents were working, they would get to go to this little building where they would get help with school and they would get introduced, like they would, would teach them how to play instruments and they get to play outside. And it also was just a very safe place for these kids to go. And like I said, I want to be able to help people. So I thought that was amazing. That's those, because of those two like things that that's kind of pushing me towards Valdosta a little bit. I don't really know exactly where I want to go. Uh, Valdosta is a little bit easier to get into, so I know that if I apply, I could get into Valdosta, but I'm still like looking at my options, obviously. I'm just a junior, if you're wondering. But I really loved those programs. Another program that they had that wasn't like helping other people, I thought was just interesting, was they had like a, um, it's not like a program, but they had a class where you learned about the stock market and they would like play the stock, well, play the stock market. I don't really know how that works. I don't know anything about stocks personally, but maybe if I went to Valdosta, I could learn something and I could learn how to do all that because I do find stuff like that very interesting as well. I think I pretty much covered all the ground. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe down below and check out my other college tours. They will be linked in the description box. I'm going on another college tour in two days and I plan on filming more of that. Hopefully it'll be a nice day so I can whip out my camera. I'm gonna film more for you guys. There's a beeping starting so I'm gonna end this video. That you guys have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye!